So this is us packing up because all of a sudden the fire is getting close and we need to evacuate. We're on level three and now we're evacuating our house. We're evacuating. Da, 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 da. <laughs> My Sharona. <laughs> Katie's driving. Look, we switched. Boom. Yep. We're evacuating. We're on I-5, Interstate 5 North, rolling in a very unsafe manner since I have the light on. <laughs> um, you know what? Evacuation couldn't be any more fun than evacuating with the person you love. Aw, it's so sweet. We, uh, in all seriousness, uh, we got a good attitude about it because we have pretty much everything we own in our car. And uh, so we didn't really want to take up space at a friend's house that somebody that didn't have uh, the freedom that we have could have taken up. So we're just going to go out and uh, wander around a town that's not currently on fire. So we will pray for everybody in Medford and hope that it works out well. Um, more to follow. Anyways, check out this awesome highway. Sharona. It is really smoky up here. We have been driving for two hours. Well, Kate's been driving for two hours. I've been sitting here making wisecracks and Oops, I'm going radio station. I need to slow down. I've got the light on to blind you. <laughs> and it is still just inundated with smoke two hours north. There's other fires burning up. Pretty much the whole state is on fire. Um, I don't know, but uh, it's really smoky. You smell like we've been in a campfire. Yeah. Anyways, that's not very exciting. So off we go. <laughs> that looks like snow, but it rarely snows when it's 80 degrees outside. That is ash. We made it. Hope you have everything. <laughs> I just know what to say. Besides, it was really smoky on the way up. I was really surprised. But now we're in our new home for a couple nights. Yes, and we get to visit our friends in Eugene. So, you know, we're going to turn it into a plus. I right, done. <laughs> Two and a half hours. Oh. Apparently I have my mouth guard in. Oh, How about you? Yeah. How you? I do. I couldn't even tell. You sounded good. <laughs> Two and a half hours later, we arrived in Eugene and the apps didn't said there wasn't any places available, but we were able to call a couple places and this one said, yes, we were, I think one of the last one in this hotel room. Our RAV4 makes that into a bed and it's really comfortable and that was our first option, but we happened to find a nice hotel room, so yeah, we're not going to argue with this. Comfy I mean, bed? shower in the morning. Instead of a truck stop, that's pretty good. It's a Starbucks right across the road. Yeah, you know. <laughs> There's people that are having a lot worse time than us with this evacuation thing. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We'll Our be hearts going are back. out to those people. We'll be going back to Linda Hand in a couple of days. So. Yeah. You're going to go to sleep, aren't you? I'm going to go to sleep. I'm not ready yet. Good morning from Evacuation Central. We're just getting ready to head back into Medford. We've been up here in Eugene for a couple days. As you can tell, they've got uh, their own issues going on here. There's huge fires out here too. We're doing great. We try to keep a really positive attitude about it. And the important part is we have each other and stuff is just stuff. All of our friends are okay currently. Nobody's been injured. We do have, unfortunately, um, some really good friends that have lost their homes, actually quite a few. Uh, that is horrible and our hearts break for them. The only stuff that we have left, which is our like important stuff, is in a storage unit in the area that was destroyed by fire. We don't know if it's there or not. Once the fire crews and everybody's done and says it's safe to go back in, we'll check. But it really doesn't matter. If it's gone, it's gone. If it's not, it's not. And it's just stuff. Yeah. We're happy this and is, this healthy. This is the and, important part. And our family's okay. Yeah. And our friends are okay. And the outpouring of love and support from... Uh, amongst our friends just to the, the general public has been really amazing. Yeah. The air quality here is as bad as it was in Beijing. I think it's worse. I checked it. It's a, I think a 422. Ah, it's not as bad though. It's just wood smoke. Yeah. The other one you could taste and that was chemical. <laughs> our car is covered in ash. Breathe in that ash. Gotta be good for you. I know. I have to wipe it off the, sh the, Cheers. <laughs> this is ridiculous. If you thought we were being dramatic about the smoke, pretty sure you can see that. 
there's some trees up there and those are right in front of us so apparently now there's no gas um, but the guy said that if we waited the truck just pulled up and he'll fill our tank yay gasoline <laughs> now we're kind of glad we pulled up because now there's a huge long line good timing